Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. Two people have now been arrested for a jewelry heist in Pensacola's Cordova Mall last month. Jorge Escobar Gonzalez and Linda Salazar Cannon, both arrested in Central Florida and charged in this case. Police say they stole nearly $300,000 in jewelry from a kiosk. Now today, the owner of that kiosk says business is back to normal after learning that some of his jewelry was recovered. And Tanner Stewart spoke to him today and explains how a private investigator helped police find two of the suspects. And Sue, Bob Farzan Devabi says police alerted him that these suspects were in Central Florida. After that, he says he couldn't wait any longer. He sent a private investigator to the Orlando area to do some digging. Farzan Devabi says he wasn't giving up easily after thieves stole roughly 75% of his merchandise from his kiosk in the Cordova Mall nearly a month ago. Farzan says he closed early for the night while the mall was still open. That didn't deter the suspects from carrying out their plan which was all caught on this surveillance video. Farzan says the suspects passed themselves off as normal customers just hours before stealing, among several items, a Rolex worth $20,000. And they asked me which one is real, which one is not, so I got the trust that they are real customer. And they look at all the Rolexes, they break everything, they damage my entire jewelry displays, they break the glasses, drawers. I had a little uh, safe because it's a kiosk. I couldn't put all the stuff inside the safe, so little bit saved, but majority of them has been gone. Farzan says he quickly hired a private eye to investigate. It wasn't until weeks later when he says police alerted him of the suspect's whereabouts in Central Florida and took action on his own. So the police found the house where they're living in Kissimmee, Orlando, and I couldn't wait anymore. And I asked my private investigator, just get the flight, go over there and because the police told us as soon as we can see them eyes by eyes, we can arrest them. So the timing was perfect. Right 20 minutes after he arrived over there, they get in the car and they drive toward the Tampa. I'm told the private investigator alerted authorities of the suspects traveling out of town, and they were quickly arrested after a traffic stop. While a majority of his jewelry was stolen, today Pensacola police say they're confident most, if not all, of the jewelry will be located soon. And uh, I believe either yesterday or today they're going to be serving a search warrant on a home down there in their county, and uh, hopefully we'll see some more uh, property recovered. This is a bit unusual. I mean, they had a legal right to be in the mall. The mall was open, but the kiosk itself was closed. Farzan Devabi says his permanent store will open soon, and he looks forward to displaying the stolen jewelry when it's recovered but says he knows he'll have to be more careful in the future. I took a big risk to bring all that uh, real jewelry at the middle of the kiosk anyway. I'm kind of the person who likes to take a risk, and sometimes we win, sometimes we know. And the suspects that are in custody be extradited to Escambia County to face those charges. More information is expected to come soon.